Well, 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 how's it going, everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here. Was not expecting another episode title in summer to drop so soon after the last ones we got. We only got one this time, but hey, I wanted to talk about it, and as you can tell by the title of the video, yeah, I was right. Liko and Katie are going to be going up against Rika, and not Larry, because that would have been a, a weird matchup, so yeah, this makes much more sense. So yeah, Liko and Katie versus Rika. This is going to be very interesting. So uh, let's talk about it, shall we? Now, real quick before we get started, I just want to say if you're someone that's brand new to the channel and you like this type of content, it'd be pretty cool if you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch it to the end. All these factors really do help, and I would definitely appreciate it. Anyways, on to the video now. Now, Pokemon Horizons episode 56 airs on June 28th and is titled Liko vs. Rika, Beyond the Battle. Liko teams up with Katie and takes on Rika in a battle. And having just realized how fun it is to battle for real, terrestrializes Florgato. Rika counters by likewise terrestrializing uh, Doe. I don't know. <laughs> Doe. Um, so I found out that this is actually Claude Sire. So. Uh, it's it's name in Japanese is just funny. It's Do. Do. <laughs> Anyways, uh who will win? Now, shout out to the good folks over at Cerebi, specifically Defender for uh translating this information as we got more than just a summary. So, we got some more information to uh, go over here. So, uh, as it goes, dream matches against the Paldea region's elite four become a reality. Believe it or not, it has been revealed that Liko and the others will team up with gym leaders and battle the Paldea Elite Four. Make absolutely sure not to miss out. Which means you have to watch these episodes. Or else. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Liko and Katie versus Rika, the ground type trainer. Liko and Katie are a powerful team. Will Terrestrializing be the key to victory? And her Pokemon? Doe. I'm sorry. <laughs> Doe, uh, Claude Sire. But anyways, uh, it has thick spines hidden around its body, or in its body, excuse me. Then we have Dot and Iono versus Poppy, the steel type trainer. Popular content creators Dot and Iono join forces. Poppy's Pokemon, Tinkaton. The hammer tops 100 kilos, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yet it gets swung around easily by it. <laughs> I just like how it ends up by. Anyways, uh, Roy and Brassius versus Hashel, the dragon type trainer. Roy and Brassius have an extremely fierce fight against the skilled Hashel, and Hashel's Pokemon is Bax Caliber, and unleashes a cryogenic uh, air that can instantly freeze even liquid hot magma. Who could Larry's Pokemon partner be, or partner Pokemon be? Either or. <laughs> the Elite Four are the top four in the Paldea region's Pokemon League. When will we get a battle against the last one, Larry? Who knows? Well, that's a lot of interesting information, and I am definitely looking forward to these episodes. Both of them seem to be pretty exciting. I find it kind of interesting that Liko kind of gets the episode to herself, whereas uh, Roy and Dot have to share their battle episodes. So, hopefully the pacing is all pretty good. The Liko episode, I'm not really too worried about the pacing, because uh, she's got all episode to go up against Rika. So, I am very much looking forward to these episodes. It's also going to be interesting to see the uh, anime debuts for some of these characters' signature Pokemon. I think Tinkaton? I, don't, I think this might be Tinkaton's anime debut. Correct me in the comment section if I'm wrong, but it definitely has the anime debuts for Baxcalibur and Claude Sire. Actually, excuse me, it's Doe. <laughs> its name is Doe, guys. I'm just kidding, guys. I, I just think that's funny still. But Claude Sire's uh, anime debut is uh, going to be happening here. So I'm very interested to see uh, how they are portrayed in the episode. Obviously, being the Elite Four, they're bound to be very powerful. But, yeah. I think that um, I am very much looking forward to these episodes. Now, I wanted to take a really quick minute here and pat myself on the back because, uh, yeah, I was right. I called it. I said in the previous succession video that Liko and Katie would be going up against Rika and not Larry. I was right. Well, 
this was the obvious matchup because uh, Liko and Katie versus Larry doesn't really make much sense. It makes much more sense for Liko to go up against Rika. Not to mention Rika already acknowledged Liko as someone that had potential in episode 46 after her battle with Anne. So, yeah, we're kind of building off of that already. That and Larry probably was like, yeah, there's three trainers here, three gym leaders, and there's four of us. So, you three handle it. I'm going to go and do Larry stuff now. <laughs> Knowing his personality, he's probably like, yeah, I don't want anything to do with this, so you guys handle it. Now, the one bit of information here that I find to be the most interesting actually revolves around Larry. And it's the fact that, since he's not battling, we don't know his partner Pokemon. So, who exactly is Larry's partner Pokemon, and are we going to battle him? So, one thought that crossed into my mind, and this is a route that they could potentially take... For an eventual battle with Larry down the road. Is that we could be facing off against him as a gym leader rather than an Elite Four member. Because as we know, he is both an Elite Four member and a gym leader from the games. Though as a gym leader, he specializes in normal type. And as an Elite Four member, he specializes in flying Pokemon. So we could actually have two different partner Pokemon for him. That he utilizes. So for his gym battles... And looking at his team from the games, he could potentially, you know, either use Staraptor or the Dunsparce. Most likely the Dunsparce to promote the games, obviously. And then for his Elite Four team, it could be Flamigo. Since that is, you know, a newer Pokemon. And in fact, I think that's the only Pokemon in his initial fight that is actually Paldean. Which I find that to be kind of interesting. But it's possible that we could be facing off against him twice. And it's going to be curious to see uh, which character faces off against Larry. Like, what is it going to be uh, Liko, Roy, or Dot? I could see it maybe being Roy more so than anybody else. But who knows. I am very curious to see if we're going to have to face off against him as both a gym leader and an Elite Four member down the road. Maybe he's like a final test sort of thing since we don't go up against him here. Or they're just something separate since these are exhibition matches. And these don't necessarily count towards anything. It's kind of hard to say since we just don't know um, where the terrestrial course goes. So I'm um, going into the unknown. It actually makes this kind of interesting. And I'm kind of looking forward to it because uh, Larry is like the best gym leader from the game. So <laughs> yeah, whatever they decide to do with him, you know, I'd probably be all for it. So yeah. I just think it would be really interesting if they utilize him as a gym leader and as an Elite Four member. I think that would be really cool. But who knows what they'll do. Anyways, uh, look forward to this episode when it airs on June 28th. Well, June 21st for uh, episode 55 and then June 28th for episode 56. That is. Alrighty guys, that's all I got for this video. So in the comment section down below, post your thoughts. What do you think about these upcoming battles against the Elite Four members? Are you excited for them? What do you think is going to be the result of these battles? And what about Larry? What do you think they have planned for Larry in the future? Like, what are we going to be doing with Larry? Is he going to be uh, facing us as a gym leader, as an Elite Four member, or both? Like, what are we going to be doing with him? I am super curious to see uh, what direction we take. And I look forward to it. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. So if you're new, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And yeah, that's all I got for this video. So um, have a great day or night where we're at, guys. And I will see you all later. Bye.